damn it. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> one of my all-time favorite beers. It's relatively easy to find, so when I can't find something, you know, that I'm looking for that's more obscure, I will get this. This is the Leffe Blonde. It's a Belgian ale. It has a pretty high ABV. It's 6.6, .6, so, you know, that's like Goldilocks to me. Oh, and when it's just all chilled, like I threw it in the freezer, and this came right out of the freezer. Oh, it's so refreshing. Mmm. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so today I thought I would update you guys on my top game changer products. Now, the last time I did a video like this, I think I think it was when I was on the ship. So that was quite a while ago, like at least a year and a half ago. So that's definitely given me enough time to accumulate some brand new game changers. How many times can I say the word game changer? I'm sorry. It's a little bit of a douchey word, let's be honest, but I mean, what better way to say it, right? It's changing my game. Before we get started, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Kate the Great family. Also, give this video a thumbs up, and if you could hit that notification bell, that is going to let you know anytime one of my new videos drops. If you could follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, both of those handles are located in my description box. Randy, that's the winery. Yeah, got a wine delivery, so. If you guys are not following me on social media, I would love if you could follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those handles are down below in the description box. I post a lot of fun things, especially in my stories on Instagram, and if there's any sort of change, like schedule-wise with my live streams, I will always update it there. So it's a good way to, you know, stay in the know. So how is this different from a favorites video, you might ask? Well, this is like favorites on steroids. These are products that I feel like are next level. They're not just favorites. They're products that I feel like literally change my day-to-day -day situation. This is not just makeup. This is a little makeup. This is a little skincare. This is hair care and some lifestyle stuff. Get excited. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's get going. So we're going to start off with basically the only makeup product I have today, and that is the Kogan Do Maifanchi Brightening Moisture Powder. So if you guys attend my live streams, you know that I cannot get enough of this. This has, I don't want to say it's replaced my Charlotte Tilbs because I love Char Char, but this is like neck and neck. Like I'm interchanging these powders basically. So you can see it looks like a delicious creamy latte and it is a translucent brightening powder with a radiant silky finish. So this has light refracting powders to smooth and give your skin a soft focus look. And it also has 10 botanical emollients. I'm not going to list all of them, okay? If you want to find out what they are, you can just go and look for yourself. 10 botanical emollients and moisture retaining ingredients. I have this on my face today. I also featured this in my October favorites video. This is a Goldilocks situation, okay? It's going to give you a little bit of mattifying power, but it's also also going to give you just a nice radiant finish. So it's just right. This has no artificial colors, synthetic fragrance, mineral oil, or parabens. This is just one of those makeup products that I feel it's always going to look good. I don't have to wonder if like I use the right, you know, primer with the right foundation with this powder. You just can't screw this up. It's no fail. Mm. So Okay, so next we're going to move on to some skincare, and I just feel like I have to bring up the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial again. This is definitely one of the most popular Drunk Elephant products, and I can honestly say that when I use it, I use it once a week, which is what is recommended, I, I see a difference. My skin just looks glowing. It looks exfoliated. So this is a 25% AHA, 2% BHA blend. It's a chemical exfoliant mask. So there's two things going Going on here. The AHA BHA blend is going to remove those dead skin cells on the surface of your skin. It's going to rev up your cell turnover for smoother, brighter skin. There's also salicylic acid in here. So that's what's going to get down in those pores and clear that shit out. It's won a few awards. It won the 2019 Glamour Beauty Award and it also won the Harper's Bazaar 2019 Anti-Aging Award. I love that they give this tip on the back. They say think of TLC Framboose. So that's another product that is also a chemical exfoliant in their line. Think of the TLC Framboose as nightly maintenance and baby facial as weekly deep cleaning. It's going to give you a radiant baby soft complexion. And then, and then I like to follow it up with this. And this is something
something that I use so much and I, I feel like I never talk about it. This is also Drunk Elephant. This is the F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial Mask Hydratant. This is a cooling, quenching overnight mask that plumps and restores with an electrolyte cocktail while strengthening the skin's acid mantle. So I like to use this when my skin is just, I feel like it's an extra need of moisture. I really want to layer on that moisture because I've done, you know, like a chemical exfoliant or a physical exfoliant. I mean, to be honest with you, I end up using this probably like four to five times a week because it just feels good. I just find myself reaching for this all the time and I always forget to mention it, but I feel like it really helps keep my skin nice and plumped and moisturized. Okay, moving on to... Damn it! I am kind of a mess today. Okay, so moving on to the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner Mist. This was a product that was sent to me by one of my subscribers by the name of Autumn. Thank you, Autumn. A cream melts into a mist, a hydrating mist that provides ample moisture and glow to the skin. I love anything I've ever had from Laneige. It's never disappointed me. You guys know I love a facial mist. But I have to say, this is the most hydrating facial mist I have ever experienced. So I'll give you an example. Yesterday I was out and about in New York for like probably about seven hours. I had a mask on most of the time, like when I wasn't at a restaurant eating with my friend. And I got home and my skin just felt dry and tight and chapped around my mouth area. So I grabbed for this because I had makeup on, so I didn't want to like rub moisturizer into it. This made my skin so moisturized and glowy and I didn't even have to really do anything. I just had to mist it on my face. I feel like this is a run, do not walk mist for winter in general, but now winter coming up this year with masks, masks and everything. This is, you just, you gotta get it. Okay, so I keep on forgetting to talk about my hair care and talk about a game changer because if I didn't use these products, I would not be able to maintain my silvery blonde hair at all. This is my go-to purple shampoo. This is the Amica Buster Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo. This is my second bottle of this. I use this every single time I wash my hair, which is pretty much almost every day. I mean, I barely have any hair, so I can definitely get away with washing my hair more than other people who have longer hair. And when I I want to make sure I really get that brass out. I'll leave it in for like around five minutes in the shower. I really come to love Amiga products and this is also recommended by my colorist who I trust with my life. Also the price is right. They're not too pricey but you feel like you're getting salon quality products. So if you have you know blonde hair, silver hair, white hair and you want to keep it nice and bright I highly recommend the Buster Brass line. So in that vein next thing I want to talk about is also in the Buster your brass line. This is the Violet Leave-In Treatment Foam. So I got this on the Sephora sale. I love this. This is just another addition to products that tone my hair, keep my hair this icy color that I enjoy. It's a foam. It's super lightweight, which I love. I just run it through my damp hair after I shower. You know, I have fine hair, so I can't use anything that's going to weigh my hair down. So this is just perfect, lightweight. Can't recommend this enough. Also, this I've been using for a solid year. This is the I IGK Mixed Feelings Leave-In Blonde Toning Drops. Guys, if I had to choose between all of these purple products, I mean, don't make me choose because I need all of them, but if I had to choose, I would choose this. I've tried to put it in favorites videos and for some reason I just keep forgetting it. I don't know why, it's really small, it just falls by the wayside, but it's something I use every single week. I use this probably about three times a week and what you do is you mix it in with your favorite leave-in conditioner and then you put any Anywhere from three to six drops, I do six. And again, after you get out of the shower, you just run it through your hair. I did it today and my hair is just like nice and icy. There's a little bit of a violet hue to it, which I'm not mad about. Again, it just really helps. I mean, I feel like I don't have to spend money at the salon because I do my upkeep with these products. Also, these products help my hair. They don't dry it out. It's not brittle. It just feels like baby soft. Last hair care product is the Moroccan Oil Glimmer Shine. I really dug in and did my research, guys, on trying to find some sort of a product that added extra shine to my hair, and this is the winner. I've been using this for months. I used it today. I mean, you can see, again, when you have overly processed hair like me, it's really hard to make your hair look nice and hydrated and shiny. So this is like the finishing step. What I'll do is I'll literally just like cover my face because one time I didn't cover my face, and then I just, my face was shiny. All my makeup looked greasy. It was, don't do that. Cover your face and 
and then I just do like a really light spritz, like one to two, and it's just perfect. Here, I'm gonna do another one right now just to show you. It also has like a really nice, just subtle scent. Yeah, I mean, I... <sighs> I love it. I just love it. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a couple lifestyle items. Socks. Okay, now listen. I talked about this in my recent live stream. I just discovered this company and I'm completely obsessed with it. It's called Bombas. And I discovered them because I'm just, I've gotten to a point as an adult, I've reached that boring ass point where I'm like, you know what? I never cared about socks. But then when I go into my dresser drawer and I don't have any quality socks, part of my day is ruined. It's like, what socks am I gonna scrounge up to go to the gym? Or like, well, these are uncomfortable. I hate the seams. Like truly it's it's been a debacle. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm getting some high quality socks. I'm done with this shit. Socks matter. Okay, so this is, I don't have all of the socks that came in this bundle because two pairs are in the laundry. But this is the Women's Holiday Ankle Sock Six Pack. They make other kinds of socks too, if you don't like ankle socks. But I love ankle socks. And let me tell you why these are exceptional. First of all, this is very personal to me. A lot of people are not going to relate, but I'm going to make you listen anyway. I have size 11 feet. Okay. I've had size 11 feet since I was a teenager. I've always had to get men's socks, which is like not a big deal. You just accept it. You're like, okay, well, this is what life is like, whatever. They're just socks, but it's kind of a bummer, right? Like why don't the women's socks go up higher for ladies who are a little larger? It makes me a little bit angry. I'm not going to lie. So I found the Bombas socks and they make women's socks and fun women's designs in my size. So this is the large size and I believe it's size 11 and up. I was so ecstatic when I found this out. I felt like I was finally a part of things. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of a personal story and like one of the reasons I love this company, but there's so many other reasons to love it. So they are an expense. These are not like super cheap socks, but there's a reason for it. They're incredibly well made. So they have a cushioned footbed and then this part right here on the arch, that is a honeycomb arch support situation. It has these wonderful blister tabs, which I'm all about. And then it also has a seamless toe, which is a huge deal because I'm so, I can't with the seams. I cannot with the toe seams. The other great thing about the Bomba socks is that for every pair that you purchase, they donate a pair to a person in need. I'm going to get more. These have made such a difference I've been bounding around New York City, just comfortable as comfortable can be. Another thing that's a little bit strange is that I do stand when I film. I stand when I film these videos, and I also stand when I do my live streams, which I know a lot of people are just baffled by. But a lot of the time I'll just stand in bare feet, and then I'll wonder why two hours later my right leg is like feeling a little bit numb. Maybe I shouldn't be standing in bare feet on, you know, like a hard ass New York City floor at the age of 37. Maybe we just need to change that. So I wore my socks the other night for the live stream. I need to tell you, and this is going to sound dramatic, but I did not, I did not have any like pain or numbness or feel as tight as I normally do because I was wearing these damn socks. I know they're an expense. You're like, I don't want to spend that kind of money on socks. That's how I felt all my life until finally I was just like, you know what? screw it. It's important. I'm doing it. So if you do have the cash to spend on a nice package of socks like this, I cannot recommend this enough. Side note, they are having a sale right now. I don't know when it ends. I'll put it down in the description box, but they're having a sale. It is a 20% off sale. If you use the code cheer 20 and it gets you 20% off of your entire order. And if you get a sock pack like this, you get a discount because you're buying a package. So you get 5% discounts. So you're basically getting 25% off if you get a sock package. If you get a package of six, again, that means six pairs of these socks are going to somebody in need. I mean, everyone's winning here. You know what I mean? All right, moving on from socks. The last thing I have to talk about is some AirPods. And I know you're like, okay, Kate, yeah, literally everyone knows about AirPods. That's fair. That's fair. But I didn't get on the AirPod train until last month. I cannot survive in a noisy city like New York City unless I have noise canceling earbuds. I just can't. It's honestly painful sometimes with how noisy it is. So I have to have it. And for years I've used the Bose noise canceling earbuds, but the ones I had that I think are the most amazing, they're not wireless. So there's this cord and then there's this contraption and it's very clunky. And I constantly was having to like hold it in my hand. I mean, it was worth it because I feel like it was saving my hearing in some ways. And the reason I haven't gotten AirPods is because they're not noise canceling. 
I don't know when this occurred. I'm sorry I'm late to the game, but they have made noise canceling AirPods. They're the AirPods Pro. You know, they're not as intense at noise canceling as my Bose, but it's kind of a trade off, right? Like these are wireless. So it's so much more convenient. And the noise canceling on these for being wireless earbuds is really impressive. So if you're a person who's been on the fence, I mean, like I was, it's like, well, you know, they're expensive. I don't know if I want to spend the money, but again, worth it. Your hearing, worth it. Your feet, worth it. Your hair, worth it. Your face, worth it. Worth it. Maybe I should have just name this video worth it. So that wraps up my, actually it was 10 products. So my 10 game changer products. As always, I will link everything in the description box and I have to cheer something. So what will it be? Okay. Well, I, you know, this is very anticlimactic because it's going to have to be the socks, but the socks aren't going to make a sound. So this is the first non clinking clink we've ever done. Are you ready? Bombas socks. Good job. It's not the same. Thank you guys so much for joining me and please consider joining me for my happy hour live stream that will be tomorrow, Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is going to be all about the brand new BK Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited to try this new palette from Lisa J. It looks so wearable and so gorgeous. So please join me tomorrow and cheers till next time. Mm. Ugh.